Hi, my name is Alexander, and I'm excited to welcome you all to Delgado Community College's new student orientation called SPLASH. SPLASH is a special program leading to academic success and higher education. So we have four primary goals of this orientation program. The first, to aid new students in making the transition as a first-time freshman or a transfer student at Delgado. Two, to acquaint new students and their families with the mission, programs, and services of the college. Three, to inform students of the campus resources that will enhance their academic success and overall college experience. And four, uh, to inform and educate students of their rights and responsibilities within the campus community. Um, I'm more than excited to be the first one to welcome you all to Dolphin Waters. So to get us started, we're going to move into a welcome from our chancellor. As the Chancellor of Delgado Community College, I want to be the first to welcome you. I am so very proud of you for pursuing your passion and choosing Delgado. You may have plans to transfer and Delgado is your starting point. If that is the case, did you know that last year more than 2,900 students transferred from Delgado to institutions like UNO, LSU, Southeastern, UL Lafayette and SUNO. Perhaps you are attending Delgado with plans to enter directly into the workforce upon completion. If that is the case, I want you to know that all of our programs are designed with industry input and are career focused. We are one of the top 10 community colleges nationwide for the number of career certifications and credentials awarded annually. Whatever your reasons for attending Delgado, I am happy that you have chosen to take your educational journey with us. Delgado offers 34 associate degree programs, four technical diploma programs, and 61 certificate programs at seven locations strategically placed throughout the New Orleans metropolitan area. Our nursing program ranks among the top 25 in the country and has a national reputation for excellence. The Delgado Allied Health Division is the largest healthcare educator in Louisiana, as well as one of the top 50 in the nation. Delgado is one of the nation's most affordable colleges for business, human resources, and management. And we have been recognized as one of the best colleges offering online learning in the nation. The faculty at the college are the absolute best in this business, and they pride themselves in delivering the highest quality of instruction. We also have a very robust student life with numerous clubs and activities. There is something here for everyone. Delgado Community College is approaching 100 years of educational excellence, and now you are part of that rich history Take advantage of all that the college has to offer. Get to know the people in the learning resource centers, the advisors, our faculty, and the people in all of our student services offices. Pursue your dreams and congratulations on taking this very important step. I wish you much success. Thank you, Chancellor Stey, for such an inspiring message. Next, we're going to move into a student testimonial. Hello, my name is Matt, and the reason I chose to go to Delgado is because of its friendly atmosphere. Everybody over there has a smile on their face no matter what point of the day, and it just feels like family because everybody's asking you how was your day so far, or or what you're doing, what your plans, and it just it's an overall just friendly atmosphere and the, my favorite place on campus is the Student Life Center because the food there is pretty cool and very yummy is more of a better way of saying it and then I can see all my friends throughout periods of the day they have a game center in there which is pretty fun and that's also where I hang out with some of my friends and it's it's just a great place to be awesome thanks 
Now we're going to go ahead and move into financial literacy. Here, we're going to dip our toes into the financial aid process. Now, before I move into these videos, I just want to go ahead and let you all know that everything you're about to watch is accessible 24-7 on the Delgado website. The link to access that is delgado.financialaidtv.com slash browse. A minute to learn it, applying for financial aid. Here are four tips when applying for financial aid. One, to apply for financial aid, you must complete the free application for federal student aid, FAFSA, which becomes available on October 1st each year. You are encouraged to complete the FAFSA as early as possible to have the greatest access to financial aid funds. Two, completing the FAFSA is free there is no fee to apply for financial aid. Be aware of scams that charge you to apply. Three, you do not need to be admitted to a school in order to apply for financial aid. However, you do have to be admitted and registered for classes to receive financial aid. Four, if you have any questions about the FAFSA or the financial aid process, contact the financial aid office. A minute to learn it. Federal aid eligibility. Here are seven facts on federal student aid eligibility. One, complete the FAFSA even if you think you may not qualify, as it is the key to unlocking financial aid in the form of grants, work study, and loans. Two, submit all required forms and documents requested by the financial aid office. Three, you must be a US citizen or eligible non-citizen. Four, you must have a high school diploma, GED, or have completed homeschooling. Five, if male, under the age of 26, you must be registered with the Selective Service. Six, you must be enrolled in an eligible program of study and maintain satisfactory academic progress. Seven, if you have a bachelor's degree, you will not be eligible for a federal Pell Grant. However, you may still be eligible for other federal student aid programs. A minute to learn it. Grants review. Six important things to know about grant money for college. One, the FAFSA is the first step towards getting grant funding. Federal, state, and school grants all start with a completed FAFSA. Two, grants are free money. You don't have to pay them back. Three, some grants have limited funding and are awarded on a first come, first served basis. The sooner you complete your application, the better your chance of getting grant funding. Four, the financial aid office will let you know if you're grant eligible or if they need more info from you. Follow up on any requests from financial aid to make sure your application is complete. Five, once your paperwork is done, grant funds will pay towards your school bill, reducing your out-of-pocket expenses. Six, to stay eligible, you'll need to complete your classes and keep your grades up. A minute to learn it. Borrowing student loans. Here are five tips for borrowing student loans. One, you'll have to pay loan money back over time. Two, your lender will keep a processing fee out of your loan funds. For example, if you borrow $5,000 and your loan fee is 1%, the lender will keep $50 of your loan for a processing fee, and the remaining $4,950 will be dispersed to your school. When the loan pays out, you'll get a little less than what you borrowed. 3. Interest is the fee you pay lenders for letting you use their money. The longer it takes you to repay your loan, the more interest you will be charged. 4. Stay enrolled at least half time to maintain in-school status so you don't start repayment. 5. Loan payments typically begin six months after you stop attending school. This time is called a grace period. What does SAP stand for? SAP 
stands for Satisfactory Academic Progress. Federal regulations require that a student has met and continues to meet some basic academic progress standards before he or she can receive federal financial aid. Each school sets its own SAP policy within federal guidelines and students must meet the requirements of the SAP policy of the school he or she is enrolled in to be eligible for federal financial aid. Every school's SAP standards include three components. One, a qualitative measurement component such as a grade point average, GPA, or the equivalent. Two, a quantitative measurement component defined in terms such as pace rate, rate of progression, completion rate, progression rate, etc. Three, a maximum time frame of program completion is sometimes referred to as maximum time length, unit limit, excessive hours, or maximum credits allowed. For students not meeting SAP requirements, the school's SAP policy explains your options and how to get back to good standing, as well as appeal and approval processes. Please make sure to review the school's SAP policy to understand your responsibilities as a student receiving federal financial aid. All right, next we're going to move into how to select a major and career exploration. Hello, and thank you for joining Gelgados Community College's presentation, Going With Your Gut, Tips for Selecting Your Program of Study. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to provide you with some tips and questions to think about, uh, to ask yourself that will hopefully make you feel a little bit better about selecting the program of study that you are looking for, whether you're in a college or university setting. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the, for many students, selecting a program of study can be one of the most important decisions uh, they make before they transition in or out of their chosen institution of higher education. Students feel that uh, they shouldn't feel alone in this struggle. How, um, however, a lot of them do, but it's important to, to know that some, somewhere between 30 and 50% of all college students feel undecided about their program of study every year. So never feel alone. There are a number of reasons why one might uh, be, not be able to make that decision, and it's important to be honest with yourself through this process to know why you are undecided. So what I've done is I've actually taken some time to write out some reasons that a lot of students tend to be undecided. So I'm going to go through those with us real quick. So the first one is a lot of individuals have chosen a career or know what they want to do. They just don't know what the best major is for that career. Some students are just too afraid to make the wrong decision. They feel that going to college and spending all this, uh, you know, money and resources to go to college, and they don't want to, they don't want to pick that wrong major. Maybe delay their graduation or um, be unhappy with their major. So there's a, a lot of reasons why they they just don't want to make the wrong decision. Um, some students are unaware of all the majors that are out there, and they don't even know where to get that information for where those majors are. We have students that want to major in everything. They have too many interests. They need some help narrowing it down. Um, you, you, it'll take sometimes take a little while to graduate if you you know want to have these you know five majors and four minors. So some students need to narrow it down. Some students are just not um, used to making those decisions by themselves. Some students are used to having their friends and family and mentors really provide a lot of input in their decision making. And so sometimes a choosing a major can feel like it's just for me and so that is something that they're not used to going to those individuals for so they need a little help um, making that decision for themselves. Some students are just not ready to commit. Some students have a major in mind, maybe two, but they just need some more time or maybe they're just afraid. We also have students that don't even know what they're interested in. They see all these options and none of them just seem to fit right. And then, of course, we have students that 
just don't want to be in college or feel that they're only there because they have to be or because somebody told them that they need to be. So it's important to know why, why you're undecided. And once you know why you're undecided, there's some questions, additional questions that you can ask yourself to provide a little insight about what's important to you and what you are looking for in a major. Now, once you have an idea of, again, that reason why you're undecided, you need to dig a little deeper within yourself to find that major of study. When you reflect on these questions that I have on the presentation, this should really take some time. This shouldn't be a five minute exercise. Maybe carve out an hour one day and maybe come back another, maybe a week or two weeks later and go over these questions again. You'll be surprised about how, you know, maybe just stewing on these questions a little bit can really open up the answers to them. So the first question I want students to think about is, uh, what are their goals? You know, what are their particular career goals, you know, that they're focused on? Um, are they currently in the job market, maybe looking for a promotion or maybe looking to be more competitive? What subjects do you enjoy? And you know, you can do this the other way. You know, what subjects do you not enjoy? You know, and it's important when you find those subjects that you like or you don't like, what do you not like and like about them? You know, what is it about them that stands out to you? Of course, we need to think about what we, what do we value? And this, you know, things about what, what am I looking for in a work environment or the people in my work environment? What are my personal interests, personal interests or qualities that I feel are really important to me? And then finally, what skills do you have? And these can be really job specific skills, you know, like I, I can weld or these can be broader skills. Skills like I'm very well organized or I have a really uh, a knack for persuading people or speaking in front of large groups. Again, be honest with yourself and maybe come back and do some reflection um, after you've already done this exercise once before. And most importantly, when you're kind of thinking about these questions and really narrowing down your, your ideas, remember that there's always help out there for you. Um, it may feel overwhelming. Just remember you're not alone in this process and there are professionals available to assist you. Assist you. Your high school counselors, your college counselors, your university and college admissions staff members are here to help you with this process. You know, schedule some time in the future with these individuals at your current or future institution if you need to. Um, you know, got to do your homework. You got to, you know, get those questions down and find those answers. And then that way, when you actually sit down in front of these individuals, they'll be able to let you know, well, based off of your goals, your interests, the subjects you like and don't like, these are what we have for you. And you'll be surprised about how easy that process goes if you just kind of, again, take some time to do some reflection, really ask for help, um, and see what those institutions have um, that'll fit what you're looking for. Now, there's a whole lot of resources out there. Um, there's resources all over the web. What I've done is I've just taken a couple of good ones that I like, and I've put those here on the screen. Um, but again, you know, carve out some time, do some personal reflection, grab a notepad, even make some notations in your cell phone, and you'll be surprised about how the right major or program will just find you if you really trust your gut. So thank you so much for um, being with me today and taking the time to watch this presentation. Do some self-reflection, um, reach out to those staff members, and we'll really help you find that best major or program of study that works best for you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. So Delgado has a variety of resources aimed at student success. We offer academic, student, and technology support services. Let's dig into some of these videos. Hi, I'm here today to talk to you about the academic support services that you can get outside of the classroom at Delgado Community College. So what do we offer at Delgado? We have the Writing Center and the Learning Resource Center. This is where you would meet one-on-one -on -one with a writing coach to assist you with any writing and reading assignment across the curriculum. It's not just for English, it's for any class that requires writing. The math lab has tutors to assist you with any material taught in mathematics at the college. Same with the Science Resource Center. It is where you can go to get help with any of your science courses. The Business and Technology Division has tutoring available in accounting, 
for electrical electronics engineering technology and electronic service technology. And then, of course, the library. The library provides assistance with research and provides you access to all kinds of learning materials. And the librarians are there to help you access material. So how do you access these different support services? Well, typically, these services are available in person at the various campuses and at different sites. Not every uh, site has a center, but you can access this help remotely. Well, because we are currently not on campus due to the COVID-19 pandemic, everything has gone remote. So while we're not doing face-to-face -face tutoring and coaching right now, you can access all of the aforementioned services online. Um, and we are happy to support you online and it's just as important as when we can meet face-to-face. -face. So why should you utilize these out-of-class academic support services? Well, they're very, very, very important in that they can provide you one-on-one -on -one help outside of the classroom. If there is something you are struggling with, something that the teacher has moved on from, and you still are having a difficult time, if you visit one of these uh, centers or tutoring labs, you can get the help. The tutors and coaches can help you master difficult concepts. Further, studies have shown that those students who use these services, they get higher grades, they succeed in their classes, they're retained from semester to semester at a much higher rate, which means these services help you on your path towards graduation or a credential. And of course, just like your faculty, the tutors and academic coaches want you to succeed. So it's really essential that you get the help that they can provide and the support. So the Writing Center Learning Resource Center, the Writing Center is typically, not typically, the Writing Center is at the City Park campus. The Learning Resource Center is at the West Bank. However, right now, everything is being offered remotely, the services. So you can submit a paper online and in 24 hours get extensive feedback in the margins. You can chat one on one with a co coach when you have quick questions, want some in, uh, feedback quickly, you can use the uh, chat with the coach. There's also social media messaging, both the Writing Center and LRC have a uh, Facebook and Instagram accounts. You can message the writing coaches there. You can call a coach to chat through difficult concepts. And then we also are beginning to offer online workshops. You, there is a, a menu or a schedule of workshops available and you can just log into Zoom and follow on with one of those workshops. And last but not least, you can access using social media. The same thing right now with the math lab, their tutoring is all online. This is a summer, a spring schedule, but there will, will be one in the summer. But as you can see, there's a link, a Zoom link, and those are the times that the tutors are available to help you with different math problems. Science Resource Center is uh, set up the same as the math. There's Zoom ID meetings, there's specific times that you're uh, tutors are available and you just go in and get the help you need and the courses that you need. And then the business and technology remote support, they're each done a, a little bit differently in the classroom. So individual instructors will notify you of how to access these different academic support services. Typically you email the tutor in the area and then they get in touch with you to make a schedule to schedule an appointment. And then last but not least, the library, even when we're not in the physical building, the librarians are available to help you. And if you just access the library main webpage, right now there's a special spring 2020 page loaded. There will be a special summer 2020 page. And that gives you information and explains to you how to access Access these different resources. In the end, it's, I just want to close with how important it is 
to utilize these services. They can really help you succeed. They can help you with diff difficult material and you can develop really good relationships with those tutors, feel comfortable, go regularly, and then succeed in your classes. We look forward to seeing you visit and utilize all of these resources and welcome to Delgado. All right, next up we have Student Support Services. This is a presentation brought to you by the Center for New Student Engagement and Transition here at Delgado Community College. This is a presentation on the Student Support Services and Resources. What are student support services? Here at Delgado Community College, we offer a wide range of different services to enhance your college experience. This presentation contains many resources along with information to help you successfully achieve your goal of furthering your education. The different list of resources that we offer are advising, answer center, bookstore, campus police, Center for New Student Engagement and Transition, Child Care Center, Financial Aid, Single Stop, Trio Student Support, and the Wise Women's Center. Your available resources broken down. What can these offices do for you? Advising. The Advising Center assists students the following ways. They help you create your plan of study to ensure successful completion with degree attainment. They also help students that plan to continue their education at a four-year institution. Never plan or choose classes on your own. You have an advisor to help and assist you. Answer Center. This is the place with all the answers. Services include general information on registration, advising, testing, financial assistance, admissions, and navigating LOLA. They also give direct referrals to other offices and services throughout the college. Child Care Assistance serves as a site for students in the care and development of young children program to observe and or to receive practical guided experience with children. Financial aid provides the best possible service to students and families who are in need of financial assistance to meet the increase in cost of higher education. The bookstore is where you can find textbooks, textbook rentals, sell back textbooks, get school apparels, gifts and accessories, supplies, electronics, and etc. here. This is your one-stop shop. Campus Police provides a safe and secure environment for all students, faculty, staff, and visitors. In their office, you can also take pictures for your student ID. Single Stop is where students can get screened for multiple government benefits and local community resources, receive assistance in assessing those benefits, and follow up to see if they have in fact received the benefits they are eligible for. All of the services here are free for Delgado students and their families. The services included are free benefit screening, free tax preparation services, free financial counseling, and free legal assistance. TRIO Student Support Services provides free services to help students persist and graduate from Delgado Community College with an associate's degree or certificate. Currently, they are funded to serve 140 students each year. The Irma Thomas Center for WISE Wise Women empowers women to help fulfill their academic, personal, and professional potential. They specialize in providing information on the latest health information, informative lectures and workshops, they provide a quiet place to study, relax and network. They also have referrals for women issues, resources, and information on education and career opportunities. And they also have a computer lab with internet connection. The Center for New Student Engagement and Transition consists of student engagement counselors who help students overcome academic, cultural, economic, and social barriers throughout their freshman year. They also help students create realistic goals and map out how they can reach them. Career Services provides individual career guidance as well as advice on beginning a specific job search. They can also organize resumes and give direction on how to prepare for upcoming interviews. Disability Services provide an equal educational opportunity for qualified students with disabilities to ensure full participation in all activities, programs, and services of the college. Veteran Affairs provides quality service to students who served our country in our armed forces as well as their dependents. 
If you happen to have any questions, you can contact your student engagement and transition counselors. The student engagement and transition counselors are assigned to students based on their last name. This is all listed below, so if you happen to have any questions, you can always reach out to us by email or phone call, or you can also stop by in our office. We are located in Building 2, Room 307. And lastly, we'll move into some technological support. Hello, I will review a brief navigation of the student-friendly technology and features used throughout the Delgado website to prepare you for the first day of class. From the Delgado homepage, you can access the Quick Links tab to log on to your student portal called Lola. LOLA stands for Log On Louisiana. It is the online tool that will allow you to completely manage your college career. LOLA will be your 24-7 one-stop resource for the upcoming semester. You can use LOLA to monitor your financial aid application, register for classes, review your class schedule, check on important upcoming dates, and catch up on campus news and announcements. Students receive a unique student ID number and LOLA username within one hour of admission to the college. Your LOLA username and password will be required to complete registration at the end of this orientation. Always refer to the how-to guide on the right for assistance or check out the LOLA guide on the website. New student emails are created on the Monday of late registration. Students can locate their Delgado email address in the personal information section of their LOLA. For students who register during late registration, email accounts are created daily through the 14th day of class. Canvas. Canvas is for instructors and students to use to see their course materials, submit assignments, and communicate with each other. You can use your LOLA credentials to sign in to Canvas. Whether you're taking courses online or on a Delgado campus, learning how to use Canvas can help you be successful in all of your college courses and will be very beneficial to what's important to you. The Delgado app brings the campus to your fingertips and enables you to connect with the DCC community. It allows you to stay on top of your events, classes, and assignments with built-in calendar function and get notified of important dates, deadlines, and security announcements. Please visit our virtual welcome desk to complete all of your enrollment needs. Here you can find help with choosing and scheduling classes for our summer and fall semesters, checking on the status of your financial aid, checking on the status of your admissions application, and registering for classes through LOLA, and so much more. All right, moving forward. We have this fun little video um, put together by a wonderful um, employee of our admissions office. Once again, we want to make sure you all feel absolutely welcome here 
Delgado Community College. I love that video. It gets me pumped up every time. I hope you guys enjoy it half as much as I do. Uh, <laughs> moving into our last segment. Um, if you are watching this on the recorded version, uh, starting the first week of July, we'll be moving to our summer hours. Uh, chat will be open Monday through Thursday from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, and close on Fridays. So other than that, um, feel free to visit the live chat during those times for um, any admissions and financial aid related needs. Um, if you need help selecting your class schedule, uh, if you need assistance with Lola, logging in, finding where your financial aid is at, how to register your classes and all that, um, go ahead, follow that live chat uh, or either of those two um, nifty little links at the top of the screen. On that note, that is all we have for you guys today. Um, thank you for taking your time out to watch this, uh, and we look forward to working with you, and uh, yeah, y'all have a good one.